So let's dive into setting up the PMP plugin in the SocialV. For that firstly we'll in WordPress sidebar appearance and in the theme section and in this SocialV theme. And click on the theme details and in this you can see the theme version that is 2.0.1. So after this you need to install the required plugin for you can see on the top left side that is begin install plugin link so click on it. In the install require plugin installer you can see paid membership pro plugin simply click on the install. It may sometimes time according to your internet connection or your system specification. After completing installation of plugin just click on return to required plugin installer. After coming back to the install required plugin section you can see paid membership pro needs to activate it so simply click on the activate link. After activating return to the dashboard. And in the dashboard, you can see the membership section and in this settings and here you can see two buttons that create a membership level and video membership levels. You can click on the create a membership level. After clicking UT1 pop-up will appear on your screen in this pop-up you can see options you can simply click on the free. And you can redirect to add a free new membership level. And on this page, you can fill in general information, billing details, expiration settings, content settings, and other settings according to your need and simply click on save level. You can see our plan has been created successfully. You can create a monthly plan like the same process. Click on add new level select monthly and fill the details according to your need. So I'll fast forward it because it's the same process. So here you can see two plans will be created successfully. After that you can see pages so click on it and it redirects you to the page settings. Here you can see two buttons generate pages for me or create pages manually. After clicking on generate pages, for me it's redirected to the page settings, and in the second last section login page section. And in the drop down select use WordPress default and click on the save settings. So, here you can see your page setting have been updated. After that in the dashboard sidebar appearance and in this menu and in the menus page. You can see on the button that is creates a new menu after clicking it the option will be open that is menu structure. The first field is menu name I'll give it name to the membership menu and click on create menu. So, your menu is created after creating it select the pages that is membership account, billing and invoice pages, and click on add to menu. After that all the option will be added in menu structure. I'll fast forward it be its common things in it so you can do it on your way. And after selecting icons click on the save menu. Here you can see membership menu has been updated. After that, we can visit our social v site live website. So here you can see in the forum. We have no pages so we will create it. So, for that return to the dashboard and in the appearance and in it widgets. And in widgets click on the sidebar area. And in the below forums the plus icon. Just click on its and one pop-up will be appear. In this pop-up select the iconic navigation menu. And in it some fields that is title give it other. And the sidebar menu field selects the membership menu. If you have an additional CSS class then simply paste it here. And simply click on update button. After that go on our live site and simply refresh the our site. And you can see our field has been added. And in the membership account you can see here, in the sidebar the option that is choose a membership level. Simply click on it and you can see our plans has been added in our site. So, our plan has been added. But its inner pages is not available so create a page. For that go back to our WordPress dashboard and in the pages add new. After that give it title pricing plans. And click on the edit with Elementor and in the Elementor firstly select the structure of our pricing plan page. After that add a widget namely the PMP pricing plan. So, on the sidebar, we need to select the pricing plan with one we like to display. And we will select the basic plan. You can also add the icon for it. And add a service that we provided in this plan and customize a button according to your needs. I'll fast forward it because it's common settings in Elementor so you can customize it in your own way. And follow the same process for the premium plan section. I'll skip it because it's the same process. And just simply click on the update button. After that return to the WordPress dashboard. And in the page section you can see we have pricing plan page. So, click on the view and you can see our page has been updated. You can see our banner will show on our pricing plan page. If you need to don't show your banner on your pricing plan page simply click on pricing plan. 
And in it you can see the banner setting and in it turn it off. After turning off it just refresh the site and you can see our banner has been removed from our pricing plan page. After that return to the WordPress dashboard and in the membership. And in that settings and in it pages and in the page setting in the levels pages. So, click on the view page and on our site membership levels page is not shown. So, for that go back to the WordPress dashboard. And in the page setting and in the levels pages. Select the pricing plan page after selecting it click on view site and here you can see our pricing plan page will be open here. If you need to show plan which user can purchase, and it's show and his profile for that, you can go to the plugin section and in that add new. Here, you can search Pimprobuddy Press. And here just click on the install and activate this plugin. It may sometime according to your internet connection. Here you can see our plugin will be activated. After that membership and in that PM Pro Buddy Press. After clicking it you can see option that is non-member user settings. And in that unlock Buddy Press so here are the three options in the drop down menu. You can select it according to your need. Second option is member level settings if need to edit it you can explore it. Next is general settings and in the registration page you need to select the pages according to your need. After setting up all the options just click on the save all the settings. After setting up going into the WordPress sidebar menu in membership settings. Click on the basic plan. And in it other settings that is buddy press restrictions. And in the unlock buddy press drop down. There are four options you can select it according to your need and click on the save level. After it visit or live demo you can see here in the membership account the plan is visible that the user can purchase. User can also change the plan from here. If you need to give a discount on your plan then return to the WordPress dashboard. And in the membership settings the option that is discount codes so click on it. There are two buttons so click on the create a discount code. You can give the discount code, start date, expiration date and uses. After that you need to select the plan which levels will will this code apply to. And you can change the fields according to your needs and save code. After that go into the pages and in a pricing page. For that, go into the Elementor. And write a discount code here, and click on update. After clicking update go into our live site, and refresh it. Here you can see you code will show. If you need to your plan will not show on your account then simply deactivate the plugin. So you see how easy it to use it use PMP feature so that's it for today.